Hi, welcome to Market Update for April 24th. Well, going into this weekend, we said it was going to be a very important weekend to pay attention to headlines, and sure enough, it didn't disappoint. Now, remember, there's a huge election that's taking place in France. Now, you have a far-right candidate, and you've got more of a moderate. It looks like the moderate actually took this first round, and of course, we don't have the final election for another week or so. So all of that is going to play out, and we saw the effects in the market. A hard rally in stocks, but if you notice, we saw a break of about 1% in the dollar against other major currencies, and we saw about a 1% rally in stocks. So all of this is really playing out the way you would think it would play out, or in a balanced type of situation. Now going forward, what we want to pay attention to are two things. One, the end of the month. Remember, T plus three tomorrow. The other thing is pay attention to some of these Fed speakers. Remember, with all of this action in the markets, and of course with the election results, going the way we probably think they're going to go in France, look for the Fed to probably be a little bit more aggressive over the course of these next few weeks as we see some of these governors talk. This is a time where we have to be very, very careful and pay attention, especially to these market conditions, as we see cash flows coming in and out. Either way, this next two weeks is probably going to be very critical, not only for the length of the market, but remember, we're also getting into May. You sell in May and walk away is one of these old adages in the marketplace. Let's see if this is one of those Mays where that happens. This is Jack Perugin from the CME Group in Chicago.